Hey everyone, this is Larry with Today I Feel Like. Welcome back. I am back in the building with another mystery box. That's right, I went back to the Black Friday Daily Deal store and I was looking around and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pick up another mystery box and come home and have some fun with it, share the fun with it. So big ups to everybody in the building. Shout out to, uh, to Gregorio in the house. I love it. First one in the building again says, hello everyone, hello Larry. Shout out to Pedro in the spot. I see you. We have Charles Tuttle in the house. We have one Uncle Kev Marsh in the building. My man's in them. I'm the Bram. We have, uh, let's see here. We have Mark Guy in the house. Says, hey, my brother Mark Guy in the house. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. All right. Let's see. We have Sandy in the house. All right. Big ups to Sandy for coming through. Let's see, let's see, we have Lady Z. Oh, wait a minute, hold on, we have, uh, we have Crowd Squad coming, says, uh, hello, hello. <laughs> and we have Lady Z in the spot, check out Lady Z. There you go, right back at you. <laughs> All right, all right, uh, Sandy says, I'm at work and it looks like it's gonna rain. Well, Sandy, I hope you don't work outside and if you do, I hope you have a umbrella on you. So, yeah, all right. Let's see, Omda Brown says, could be a box, a box of Cuban cigars. Woo, that could be, that would be fun. That would be fun. I have a friend of mine who was a, who was a, a former professor of mine who is a big fan of cigars and a big fan of Cuban cigars and actually gets his hands on some. And so, yeah, if I had a big box of Cuban cigars, I would definitely, definitely take them over there and share them with him. He would enjoy that. So, all right, let's get this thing open. I'm going to use my, uh, I'm going to use my knife. I'm going to use my Spyderco Paramilitary 2 knife to open this thing up. And for those of you who don't know, I actually got this on my last trip to the Black Friday's Daily Deal store, which is an Amazon return store. I got this on my last trip to that store, and this is a $265 knife. I got this thing for 10 bucks. I <laughs> know, it's crazy. All right, let's go ahead and, uh, and cut through this thing. And let's see here, let's cut through there, and let's cut through there, and all right. Let's get this thing off to the side over there. Let's see what kind of craziness we got, we have in here this week. Now last week, last week when I did this, I got skunked. I didn't get anything good. That whole box I thought was pretty much garbage. I think I pulled one thing out for somebody, maybe two things. I think there was like a cable or something in there I wanted. Everything else went to the Goodwill. But the week before that, I did all right. There was a few things in there that I actually wanted. So, uh, but that video, that video is up online. The last week I did one live. The week before, you know, before that I did, uh, I did one recorded. So you can go watch them both if you like. All right, let's see what we have first off. And this is going to be a a dip powder kit. A uh, it's a 32 piece. It says 32 piece. Uh, something kit uh, a dip I don't know what a dip powder kit is let's just open it let's just take it up oh look at this I think it's some sort of makeup stuff oh yeah it's some sort of makeup stuff I don't know is this for like it says incredible fine powder I think this is maybe like if you do like acrylics or something yeah, I think this is if I think this is if you do like uh, acrylic nails or something there. So, yeah, I might have to. I think Felix had said that his uh, that his wife was starting his wife or his girlfriend somebody was starting a a beauty business of some sort like a spa or something. So he asked me to set aside this wax um, like this wax kit that I had in the last one. You know, so maybe I'll set this one aside too. Yeah, it says this is a a dip powder nail kit. Now I don't know if this thing is going to show up. It does show, it does have the Amazon barcode since this is an Amazon Amazon uh, product here. It came from Amazon, but let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, there it is. This is going to be this would be 31.99. This is it right there. Let's see if we can get that in there. Oop, let's see if it gets on there. Focus not on me. It's thirty-one ninety-nine. Actually, let me just see if I can do. This. I'm not going to do this for everyone, but since we're just getting started here, 
let me see if I can um, let me see if I can find this in my uh, in my Amazon search history here. Oops, let's get that grant. Look at that going. Here we go. And let me pull that up. And there it is right there. This is it. That is the, uh, oh, well, this one says, yeah, 42 pieces. Is that what it is? 42 pieces. Anyways, it's $31.99. This is it. It looks like you're going to get all kinds of stuff with it. So I guess you'll get, be able to create all these kind of crazy fingernail patterns and styles and everything else. So if you're into that, that's something that you can do. And it says for uh, dip powder liquid stuff. So yeah. All right. There you go. Something for the ladies. I guess it could be for the fellas too, the way things are nowadays, but oops, hold on. Let me get, let me, uh, <laughs> let me jump back in looking at my desktop now. All right, there we go. All right. Well, there you have it. Let's keep it pushing. Let's see what else we have. We have a, a pro trainer dog collar. There you go. A pro trainer dog collar. So I guess if you wanted to train your dog, um, let's see if we can see what this looks like. Oh yeah, look at that. You have everything in there. So it looks like you have a little controller. I think this thing's like a little zapper on there. You put this on there. Oh, look at that. It even turns right on. So I guess there's a little zapper on there that you put on your dog collar. And if your dog starts getting a little out of hand or rambunctious or something, I guess you send them a little jolt or, or a little vibration or something that uh, gets their attention. So I'm, I'm not a big fan of that, but you know, some people think, some people say they work. Um, yeah, I can't really pull this up because the barcode, that Amazon barcode is not, is not shown on. It looks like they put a, a sticker over top of it there. So, but this is a pro trainer dog training collar. It says train like a pro. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we have. It looks like we have a box of KN95s. Look at that. A bunch of KN95 masks. Now, I don't know if these ain't, let's see. Let's see if these are if these are gonna look like they're real. I don't know, there is a number on there. All right, there is a number. If you guys see that, they always tell you if you get one of these masks, look for the number on there because some of these things, they say are uh, have nothing on there and they are, uh, and a lot of them are fake and they're not effective. But yeah, these are, these are a bunch of KN95. So um, yeah, I don't know who makes these. Let's see here. Let's see if there's a barcode on here. Let's see. Um, yeah, I don't see anything. Oh, there it is. There's one on there. All right, let's check it out. Let's see if this thing looks like it might be from a reputable company. I don't know. I I don't trust some of these companies when it comes to, to my face mask. I only roll with a few of them. One of them I use is called BNX. I use their their stuff because uh, they're an American-made company, and I know they adhere to certain standards and whatnot. So. Um, yeah, these are 20 bucks. These are 20 bucks. Well, that last kit was, was what, 40 bucks. These are 20, so that's 60 bucks. I'm already ahead because the box costs 20, so I guess I'm already technically ahead on my, uh, on my money here. So let's see. Let me open this up, and let's see if we can go and find the, let's see if I can find the mask for you here. And let's see. Let me click that. And let's see if it shows up on my on my search history, Oop, on my browsing history. Where is it at? There it is. All right, let me bring you in. And there it is, right there. That is the that is the mask. Those are the masks. The the BYD Care KN95 respirator, 20 pack with individual wrap, breathable, comfortable, foldable safety mask with a head strap. Um, for tight fit. See, these this this is one of those things where it makes me think like these are not like legit because if you have the head strap, the only real difference between a KN95 and a and a uh, and a N95 is the strap. The head strap, the ones that go uh, behind the heads like this, those are those are N95s. If you have just around the ears, then you have a KN95. So the fact that these have those uh, those behind the head straps and they're calling it a KN95 kind of makes me think these are not legit because they would have gone and probably had said, hey, these are actual N95s. But I never know. You never know. But there was a lot of reports about how these, there was a lot of counterfeit masks and ineffective masks on Amazon. So I always, I'm always a little skeptical. All right. Let's see. Let's see here. Looks like we have a few more people that came through. Let's see. Uh, 
<laughs> Krug Squad from Covey says, could be a big pizza. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Let's see. RC says, up, Larry and everybody. Shout out to you. What is that saying there? It says, uh, Cameron's, uh, can't see the rest of it there. Something else. It looks like a Viking in there. So maybe it's a school insignia or something. So shout out to Evil Witch in the building. Big ups, big ups to you. All right. Let's keep it pushing and see what else we have. <laughs> Look at this. We have a pair of boots. They gave us a pair of boots in here. These are from Sonoma. And these are a pair. I don't know. What the heck is that? These things look dusty. Look at that. Ugh. These things are like dusty. I don't know. They don't look like they're, they're new. They still have the tag on there. But it looks like they, it looks like they got into something or something got onto them. I don't know what size these things are, but they probably need to be cleaned a little bit. These are a size 10. Yeah, for a woman's 10. I guess I could clean them up. My wife wears a 10. I don't know if she's gonna want these things, but you know, there you go. You have some boots like that. But again, look at it. They're all, it's all yucky. They need to be cleaned up. You'd have, I'd have to go get something to try and clean that up. I don't wanna get my wife any yucky shoes, so, but. There you go. And again, they, these do have, oops, they still do have the tag on there. So um, I don't see any barcode on here. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry about seeing how much these are right now. I'm just going to write, I'll, I'll say these things are probably 20, 30 bucks or something like that. So, all right, let's keep it going. Let's see what else we have. And it looks like we have another box of the KN95s. So there you go. These are the same ones. So that's another 20 bucks right there. So these are these things are 20 bucks each, so yeah. All right, we're, still, we're doing all right. We're doing all right so far. Let's see here. This is the, uh, let's see. <laughs> Omda Brown says those boots are made for walking, and that shit's what they'll do. <laughs> oh, God. This dude kills me. I'm telling you, man, if you guys want some entertainment, just, just go and walk to just go scroll, scroll through the comment sections of my videos and look for Omda Brown's comments. He's all, this dude is full of puns. He, this dude is, is, is a, is a pun a day type dude. So he's just, yeah. Anyways. All right. <laughs> we have a body, your choice of beauty. That's the brand. I don't know what this is. This is, oh, it's a curling iron. It's in rose gold and it's a curling iron. Let's see. There is a, there is a barcode on the back. Let's see if we can, um, Let's see if we can scan this, if it'll come up. Let's see, nothing is coming up on there. Let's see if we get this again. And nothing. All right. Well, let's see what, let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we open this up, what it's going to look like. And that's the crazy thing. These things are like, these things are like brand new, still in the packaging. Everything's in here. Jeez, this thing is like legit. This is like... This is like a, a couple of hair clips, I guess. Oh, I guess these are clips. So if you're like curling your hair, you can pin it back a little bit, the part that you've already done. It looks like a heat glove or something there so that you don't burn yourself. Uh, and then um, and then here is the curling iron. Look at that. This is This looks like a really nice curling iron. Yeah, that is, that is kind of crazy. Now, I, I have no idea who would need this or, you know, I imagine people who curl their hair every day. I have no idea. I don't need it, but you know, maybe I'll see if my, uh, maybe I'll see if my sister-in-law needs it or something, but it seems like it's kind of cool. It says they have a coupon in here for 20% off, uh, any Amazon purchase on there. So if you want that and, um, and there you go, I might, I might, I might look this up. I'm curious to see how much this thing costs. So. It looks like a really nice curling iron. I'm surprised. This thing looks really, really nice. And I'm curious to know how much this thing is actually, uh, how much this thing is actually worth. I did try and scan it and nothing came up. So I'm gonna try it. Let me see, there's another barcode on here. Let me try this one here. Let me see if this one comes up. And nothing. Try this one again. See if anything comes up. Nothing, okay. So let me type in, let me just type it in and uh, let me just type it in and see. We'll do a body. Uh, what does it say? A body curling iron. Let's see, curling iron one. 
rose gold. Let's see, rose gold. And let's see if it comes up. Oh, yeah, there it is. All right, let me show you. Let me bring you on in. And here we have it. This is it right here. This is it. The 1.25 inch curling wand curler. And look at that. This is it. Uh, it's a different brand though. This one's saying Pref, uh, Prifty or Pritfe uh, Fire or something like that. But this is, this is the same thing. This is what it, exactly what it looks like. So, and you can see there, you can curl your hair so you can get your nice curls going on. And uh, yeah, I guess it heats up, says PTC, fast heating and auto shut off. And uh, yeah, so I guess there's different temperatures for different types of hair. And uh, yeah, there you go. And this thing is gonna be, uh, it says $24.99, so 25 bucks. I have to say, right now, right now we're doing pretty good on this box. Now, when I say pretty good, I, I mean just like the amount of value that's in this box. I have no need for any of this stuff just yet. I have no need for any of this stuff just yet, but I'm hoping that something's gonna be in here that's gonna be worth it for me. Let's see here. And <laughs> a phone case. I think in every, I, this is my third box so far, and in each box, I think there's been at least one phone case. So they're, they're definitely, and every time I've gone to that store, they have a lot of phone cases in there. They're definitely trying to get rid of some phone cases. And this looks like it is for a, this is for an iPhone, but it doesn't say which one. But let's see, let's just open this thing up. Let's see if we can open it up, get this phone case out. And I think this is probably for like an iPhone like 13 or something. So you can see that it's kind of, it's kind of cool looking. It's kind of cool looking. It's sort of just like a, a sort of like one of those PVC cases, but yeah. Um, it's probably for, it's probably for like an iPhone 13, maybe a 12. I don't know. I think they're all maybe the same. Could be a 14, but I'm not sure. It doesn't say, it doesn't say on here which iPhone is for. It just says it's a iPhone, protective iPhone case in purple. So yeah. All right. Well, let's see. There is a, there is a barcode. I don't know. Let's see if we scan that in, if anything comes up, maybe it'll show us if it comes up on Amazon. Oh yeah, there we go. This is for the iPhone 11. Look at that. I think my, uh, I think my sister-in-law actually has an iPhone 11. Maybe that's something that she could rock there. So let me, uh, let me see if I can pull it up right quick and show you. So here we go. Let me pull and let me go in and back up and back up and back up. And let me see, where's my bra? Oh, I went too far. There it is right there. And this is from a company called Bentobin. Uh, Bentobin, this is the iPhone 11 case, slim fit, glow in the dark, hybrid, hard, PC, soft, TPU, bumper, drop protective, uh, girls, women, men, phone cover for iPhone 11. And this is a, um, this is a 6.1 inch purple galaxy case. So you can see right there, purple galaxy. It looks kind of cool with that, uh, with that purple galaxy. The phone case did look like that. So um yeah you can see there it's only going to fit the iphone 11 and you can see there oh it looks like it's uh it looks like it's glow in the dark very cool so it says uh cute pattern needs to absorb enough light before it glows according to the luminous principle so um there you go it says slim and sleek and it has the buttons that are responsive on there and smooth surface and yeah so there you go it says unique style and this thing is 1198 so all right, there we go. We are uh, we are doing okay so far. All right, let's keep it pushing. Let's keep it pushing. Let's see who else is coming through the building. If anyone's here, we have Daniel Berry Sports. Says yo, shout out to you, Daniel. I see you in the spot. And we have Sandra. Says hello, Larry. It seems uh, it seems you've become addicted to the Amazon boxes. <laughs> they are fun. I will say they are fun. I am having a good time with these things. I really am. Sometimes I don't even need the stuff in there. Or a lot of times I don't need it, but it's just fun to get a mystery box and just see what's open. So much of what I have coming in is I know about it, sort of planned. It's kind of fun just to get something that you have no clue what's in there and just and just sort of roll the dice with your $20 and sort of like gambling. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. We have... 
Uh, what is this? It says something, I think these are sunglasses. Let's see, it looks like they're taped up. Let me see if I can, uh, let's see if I can cut through this here and get this thing, get through that there. And I think that did it. And let's see, oh. Oh, these are like the clip-on glasses. These are the clip-on joints. So if you have, if you have glasses, you can then clip these on. So I don't know how that, I was never really sure how these things worked. I think they just clip like, I think you open them up somehow. And then they, uh, I think they, I think you open them up. And let's see if I can get these on there. Yeah, I'm not sure how these, oh, maybe you push it. No. Pull it. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see if I, I can see I can manually do that. And then let's see if I slide these in there and put them, there you go. Now I think you can fold these down. So now, there you go. You can have your glasses. Booyaka! <laughs> and when you're done and you need them, just flip them up. What's good, man? I'm going old school right here. <laughs> and then booyaka! Man, these things are, they're, they're big. They look like, uh, they look like those glasses you get when you go to the eye doctor and they dilate your pupils. <laughs> <laughs> and then you flip them up. It's still got a bit of a visor. Like it's kind of, it's funny cause it still has like a, like it's still up here. So it's still like a bit of a visor. Like it's still knocking some of that light out there. So <laughs> these are fun. I like them. I might keep these. I might keep these. These are fun here. Let me see. I don't know if there's a, yeah, there's a barcode. There's a code, but it's underneath here. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to it. So, but these are, uh, but these are something polarized glasses gray there. So yeah, I can't, I can't see who makes these things. So, <laughs> oh man. Derek says you can start a little online eBay uh, business selling your mystery items. Ooh, that's a, that's a good idea. That sounds like that could be a good idea. I like that Derek. All right. All right. All right, I see it. I'm thinking it's Derek because I'm seeing the, the the way you shorten your name there. I hope I, I hope I have it right. Let's say, let's see, let's see here, <laughs> Larry. <A. laughs> oh, this also looks like Kumo D shades. You know, you're right. Wow, you're right. They look like old school Kumo D shades. Wow, 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 West. <laughs> the wow, wow, West. There we go. <laughs> Oh man, I saw Kumo D in concert years and years ago at the Celebrity Theater. I think it was in uh, I think it was in uh, Long Beach, California, and uh, it was a fun it was a fun thing. It was him. It was Kumo D. I think it was Bismarcky before that, and then I think the closing act was uh, was Rakim was Eric B and Rakim. Kumo D was dope as hell, and then. Um, and then Eric B and Rakim came on and it was cool. But then it was like, people were trying to get on the stage or something. People were wilding out. There was a big old fight. And then they ended the thing. Everybody rushed out because there was, there was crazy fights breaking out. And then we were in the parking lot and dudes were breaking out Uzis and shooting. It was just absolute madness and pandemonium. But those were those old days of hip hop concerts where they, things would just go awry. So, all right, here we go. Looks like we have a, uh, it looks like a screen protector. It says this is for the iPhone. It says iPhone 4.7 inch. I think this must be for like a mini or something. Cause I don't know. I'm trying to think of an iPhone that has a, that has a uh, 4.7 inch screen. But here it is. It looks like feels heavy. Like there might be two of them. And there are, there is. There's two different screen protectors in here. And it looks like these are actually, uh, yeah, these are actually still intact. So I'm not gonna take them out of there. I don't want I don't want them to break or anything. I'm gonna put them back in here. But this is from JTEC, it looks like. And you get all the installation stuff that you need. You get the stuff, everything you need to clean your screen nice and uh, nice and clean. And uh, and then there's that. So let me see if I can let me see. It looks like if you look on here, it looks like it's one of the iPhones that has a that has like a nice uh, you know, um, what do you call that bezel around there? So this is definitely one of the older school ones here. So um, actually, let me get that bag. Let me uh, let me put this back in the bag. I may just I may uh, I want to keep this intact. I don't think I'm going to use this because I don't have 
I don't have anything to use it with since I, I don't, I have pretty much the newer iPhones, but somebody may need that thing. I don't want this. I don't want it to break. So, oh, you know what? Let me see. I don't know if there's a barcode on there. If there is, let me see if I can scan it right quick and find out how much this thing is. And yeah, I don't know if this is going to scan. Let me see. Let me hit that. Let me see if this will scan. And it is not. All right, let's see if we hit the, let's see, let me just hit search. Search, let's see what comes up. And, oh, there we go. The JTEC, this looks like it is for an iPhone SE 3. My wife actually has this phone. Maybe she wants a screen protector on there. I don't know, I'll have to ask her. Um, she's never said before that she wants one. In fact, I have a hard time getting her to keep a phone on her, uh, case on her phone. But this is, uh, let me see if I can pull it up for you guys right quick. It's, it, this one is not expensive at all. It's only like $7.99. So, um, so if you have an iPhone SE, and there are a lot of people out there with them. These are one of the most popular uh, iPhones out there. So you can see it says for the iPhone SE 3 and 2, or the 2022 and 2020 version, the 4.7 inch, and this is a three pack it says, but the one that I have, it looks like there's only two of them in there. So maybe somebody, maybe somebody bought it and they used one of them and then they, uh, and then they said, ah, I don't want it and sent it back. So I guess for two, you get two of them in there instead of three, but it's only $7.99. So not bad. You can see there, it's going to work only with the, uh, with the 2022 and 2020 version. And I guess apparently it's, uh, it's, it's fairly easy to, uh, to install there. So, but there is an installation note. So. Um, yeah, it says extra space to allow, uh, allow it to be case friendly and, and you can not have to worry about your, your, uh, devices getting screw your screen, getting all scratched up. I don't really worry about all that stuff. I usually, um, I usually keep a pocket in my, uh, I usually keep a pocket free just for my phone. So, um, I carry two phones. So I carry, uh, I carry my, my Android phone, usually I put that in my back pocket and I have my, uh, my iPhone 14 Pro Max, which I usually keep in my front pocket. So I usually keep my front pocket or my back pocket, I usually keep those pockets uh, clean of anything else except for my phones. And I keep my keys and everything else in my wallet in my other pocket, so. All right, let's keep it pushing. It looks like we have, I don't know what this is. Uh, huh, what is this? Is it two different things? Oh, I grabbed two things. So this is a, I think, oh, it's a phone case. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that. It is a phone, this is for an Android phone. This is definitely for a Samsung Galaxy something or the other, because I know that shape. And this is gonna be for the, um, this is gonna be for the uh, S22 Ultra. All right, this is gonna be for the S22 Ultra there. So um, it looks like the only problem is this, you can see right there, I don't know if you can see that, but it's damaged up top. This is, looks like it's uh, like a sort of a temper glass screen. And I don't know if you can see that up top there, right at the corner, right there, it's it's cracked a little bit. So um, yeah, that's that's unfortunate. But also I'll probably, well, I don't wanna give this to somebody and it's damaged, so I'll probably just, uh, I may Goodwill it or something. You never know, people always talk about giving stuff to the Goodwill and people say, oh, you should be careful what you give to the Goodwill. But you know, you'll be surprised that people, uh, you know, that people go there and they're looking for all kinds of stuff. Sometimes they don't want stuff that's perfect because they may be used, like I have used the Goodwill to go find props for movies. And sometimes I don't want stuff that's perfect because I'm like, I'm gonna go there and I want something that's a little beat up or dinged up because it needs to look old, you know. Or sometimes I buy stuff knowing that I'm gonna intentionally break it because I don't want to go buy something brand new and break it. So I'll buy something cheap that's maybe five bucks, six bucks, eight bucks, whatever. And then I'll use that to break it. So um, I have no idea how much this, this case would cost. Um, most of these cases um, are usually, you know, 20, 20, 30 bucks, something like that. But I'm curious just to see what this thing, let's see, S22 Ultra case. Let's see if we can find it. And this looks like it might be it here. I think this is it right here. No, that says VRS. I don't know if that's it. There it is, right there. This is it. The uh, 
That's what it is. It's that anti-peeping thing. It's the anti-peeping case. So it has, you can see the screen. The screen on this thing is a little bit darker so that when it, uh, when you look at it from the side, you can't really see your screen. So it's that privacy uh, tempered glass. So it's going to be $23.99 and yeah, it's still available. So you can get that there. So unfortunately the case, the screen is actually broken. So uh, it's a little cracked in the corner. So I wouldn't recommend this particularly, but you know. All right, there we go. Let's keep it pushing. Let's see. Uh, Evil Wish says, who's Mo D? <laughs> these youngins, boy, these youngins need to learn their hip hop. <laughs> oh, so he was, Kumo D was a popular rapper and star in the, in the late 80s. Went back and forth with LL Cool J for a few years. Uh, I'm showing my age. Well, you know, we're all showing our age like that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, let's see here. Oh, look at this. Tell me, tell me that this is going to be the actual game. I'm hoping it says Hasbro Gaming. Oh, snap. Look at that. We have the actual Battleship game in here. I don't know if everything is in here. I haven't tried to play this game, and I don't know how long. Let's see if it's... um. Let's see if it's actually everything is in. Oh, snap. Look at that. Look at that. And then this folds over. And then you have, you have more stuff in there. You have more of the little pins in there. This is, this is crazy. All right. And you have your battleships. And yeah, this is all right. Nice. I like it. I like it. Now, I don't know what all you need. I've, I was never a big battleship fan, but I know some people are. This could be a fun game for people. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to set this aside. Maybe uh, maybe my niece or somebody will want it. Maybe, you know, I've been saying for some time, it'd be fun to do like a game night, like get some people together and do like a game night, play Monopoly, Battleship, Connect Four, you know, just have a good time. So, yeah. All right, let's see here. Now, I don't know. Let's see. Well, this is, it looks like we have another phone case in here. This is going to be a case for, this is the Moto Stylus, um, 5G 2021. So this is the Moto Stylus 5G 2021 case. And um, yeah, I don't know anybody who has a Moto Stylus. Uh, yeah, this is this is gonna be Goodwill. Somebody maybe, somebody's gonna go to the Goodwill and they're gonna have a Moto Stylus. They're gonna be like, oh, I never thought I would ever find a case for this. And they're gonna be happy. So, all right, let's see. I have no idea what this thing is. This thing is, what is this? What in the world it says Vive Health? It looks like it's some sort of like, oh, it's a compact bed rail. I don't know if you can see it. It says compact. Let's see if I can get that on there. It says compact bed rail. That's what it's going to look like right there. So I guess it's if you have someone who is, uh, you know, in the, like in the bed, like trying to, you know, if you have someone old or that may be falling out of the bed, this is a way that you can, uh, you can set up that bed rail so that they don't fall out of the bed, which is kind of cool. All right. Let's see. What else do we have? Looks like we're getting towards the bottom here. And this is, says Shoemaker. And I have no idea what this is. Quality grills, diffusers. Um, all right, let's see if I can just scan. Oh, it says, it says stamp deluxe floor register. Huh. I have no clue what that is. Let's see. Stamp deluxe floor register. Uh, let, oh, okay. All right. All right. I see what that is. Six by 12. This is like a grill. For like the uh, for like a vent cover. All right, let me just show you. This is I have absolutely no need for this in any way, shape, or form. But somebody, I guess, will be happy. All right, let's see here. Let me go back and let's see. Let's click that, and there it is, right there. This is the Shoemaker Manufacturing Bronze Six by Twelve Premium Floor Register All Steel Heavy Duty Vent Cover. So. Yeah, this is for people who have like these floor vents like that. So if you're, um, if you have the heat that comes through your floor, 
that is going to work for uh, for you like that. So you can get an idea of how that's going to look and that, that'll work for you just like that. So yeah, I have absolutely no need for anything like this. All our stuff comes from the ceiling and all of our stuff is, uh, you know, it's already in there. We have a rental, so um, so we can't really change our stuff out like that anyways. So there would be no need for me to get anything like this or to use it, even if I had need for it. So yeah. All right, well, there you go. I'm gonna goodwill that. Somebody's gonna get a deal out of that. Um, oh, well, how much is this thing? This thing is, um, this thing is $32. All right, nice, 32 bucks, that's not bad. So there you go. Um, we have a couple more items in here. Oh, this makeup brush. I think this actually slipped out of the box. This is what that, I think this goes with that, uh, with that kit, that dip kit, you know, for the nails and stuff, so. All right, looks like these are the last two things. I have no idea what they are. Looks like nothing that I want. And this is, uh, oh, these are like these little anti-slip pads that you can put into your car. They have this sort of uh, sticky back material that you put onto your, like, your dashboard. And then these things, you can just set your phone on there and it'll rest, your phone will rest on there and stay, uh, and stay in place for the most part. So, um, yeah. I guess kind of cool, nothing that I need, nothing that I'll probably use. And then we have, um, and then we have some stickers that say vintage 1932. 1932, you know what? I think, I, these are like birthday stickers or something, but I think that my father-in-law was actually born in 1932. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm gonna have to ask my I'm gonna have to ask my wife, but I think he was born in 1932. Let me see if I can um, let me see if I can get this stuff out. And because it's a bunch of stickers here, and let me see, there actually is a barcode in here somewhere. On uh, something, there we go. All right, it says 90th Honeycomb Enterprises. Let's see if we can uh, scan that. And let me get the barcode. See if that comes up. And nothing yet. All right, let me just, let me hit that. Let me hit search. See if anything comes up with it. And, no, oh, wait a minute. Um, nope, that is not it. All right, let me see. It says 90th Honeycomb Centerpieces. Let me see if I can find it and see if anything comes up with it. Oh, let me go back to Amazon Prime there. Let me hit... 90th honeycomb center pieces. All right, let's see if we can find it. And there it is. I think this is it right here. Let me pull it up. There we go. This is it right here. Now, when I say 90th, it's saying right now it's saying night it's saying uh it's saying 1933. These ones are 1932 uh, that I currently have because I guess it, today it would be 91. Uh, it would be a, a 91 uh, birthday celebration instead of 90th. But this is what it looks like where you have these centerpieces. It says happy birthday, vintage, 1933, straight out of 1933, 90, and all that good stuff. So you have the whole shebang of bang in there. So yeah. All right. All right. I'm not mad at him. I am not mad at them. So there you go. And you can see right there, like it says vintage 1932 and all that good stuff there. So I'll find out if, uh, I'll have to find out if he was born in 32, then maybe, you know, maybe we'll have a put together a little birthday swag bag or something. I don't know. Anyways, but that's it. That is everything. <laughs> that is everything. It's not too bad. I didn't get, a, I didn't really find much for I didn't really find anything for myself that's like I'm like excited about but you know like that first box that I did I was like oh cool I got a new hydro flash bottle and there was like a lumbar support thing in there and there was something else in there I was like this is kind of cool but today yeah 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 I mean I see there's some value in the box it's not like there's no value in the box it's just not anything that I particularly care about so you know all right, there we go. Look at that. We have family dad cooking in the building. It says, what's up? Uh, what's up, bro? Bro, I see you in the house. 
Let me, first of all, anybody gets a super chat, God has to get one of these. You smart. You very smart. We the best. You a genius. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you so much, Family Dad Cooking. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you very much, y'all. All right. Shout out to Greg in the house. I see you in there. Uh, let's see. T Greg says, Texas, another shooting. Yeah, I saw that, man. There's, there's, uh, there's another mass shooting at a, at a, uh, outlet mall in Texas today. And <sighs> man, I'll tell you, there, there is a mental health crisis in this country and we're not doing anything to improve it. There's a shortage of therapists. There's an overabundance of guns. We are just, we are just a country in a crisis right now. I don't know what to do to fix it. Man, I, our, our politicians, either they don't know what to do or they won't do it. All I can say is wait till next week and there'll be another one. You know, that's pretty much all it is. So, yeah. All right. Shout out to Travis Looney. He says, what's up? Hope everyone's having a great time. We are, man. We are having a good time. Let's see. Uh, says, Larry, that will come in handy for, uh, for after you do a wine in winter. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Larry, uh, I have a Moto Stylus 2021. Was that a Moto Stylus case I had? Let's see. Hold on. Let me check that out. Where is that case at? This case is for a... This is for a Moto Stylus 5G 2021. Sandy, send me, a, send me a message on Instagram with your shipping address. I'll see if I can get this case out to you. Look at that. I never would have thought... I would know anybody with a Moto Stylus 5G 2021. But there you go. Speak it out to the universe, comes right back to you. So shout out to Sandy. All right, y'all. I'm about to get up out of here. You know, there you go. It says, uh, it says, take care, enjoy the rest of your week, and I appreciate you. Thank you so much. You guys have a good time, too. There's some good fights on tonight. I believe Al Jermaine Sterling is fighting in the UFC. I believe uh, Canelo Alvarez is fighting, uh, you know, boxing tonight. So have fun. Get yourself a little beer, a little pizza, a little water, a little wine, whatever it is that you like to, uh, to put down your gully. And, uh, and relax and watch the fights. Enjoy yourself. So, all right, y'all. It's been real. I'm Larry with Today I Feel Like. And until next time, until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.